Hi, I'm Bert from Rally Moto. This morning we're on a wintry day in the Cotswolds running an adventure rally. These little adventure rally raids, as we call them, are ideal for beginners to come and find their feet, learn about roadbook, because roadbook is really not so much about learning in a classroom as in actually doing it. 99% of riders will pick it up straight away and in the first five kilometers they'll have roadbook sussed. The roadbook is simple to follow, it's geared for beginners and we want you to have a great time and have a great day out riding and to come back again. The guys will have about five, six hours riding on roadbook today and they're off now. Adventure Rally is basically what the guys do on the Dakar, but it's our local little club version with Rally Moto. You get GPS tracked, you have a road book, you have speed zones, you have waypoint verifications if you're running digital. A lot of the guys here come and do this for practice. The little events we do here, we cap at about 25 riders, so there's not too much pressure on the trails in any given area on a day. There's three different ways you can come and join in with this. You can have one of our Tupperware boxes, you can have digital or you can have a full-blown professional version. So let's take a little look around the paddock and see what bikes people are running and see what sort of equipment they're running. So you can see how easy it is just to get started with what we're doing. Um, I've got a 690 KTM. It's a few years old now, but it works lovely. Um, I was interested in the electronic setup. This is a Samsung Active Tab 2 uh, with a Bravit holder. Um, I went to Rally Raid to get the switch to move it on remotely. Um, I took a load of advice from two other members, uh, Dovrig and uh, Ewan, his son, and they've got a setup virtually identical to this and they've been really helpful in getting me to go electronic. I'm not electronic but this is this is the way it is so um, it's set up really good. This is my third or fourth event. I'm not very good at it but uh, I'm giving it a go. My name's Perry. I'm on a Yamaha Tenere. I've done a few rallies with Rally Mode 2. Uh, maybe three or four at this point. For the navigation, I use the Tubware box, which they provide. Um, so they'll give you the Tubware box and the paper road book, which you can scroll into it. Uh, it's really easy to use, and they have a little mount on the side, so you can see a distance as you're going along. Um, but it means you can just rock up to the rally events with your phone and be set up all ready to go. All I've done to my bike is just add the 50-50 off-road tires on it, and then the previous owner has kindly whacked on a nice big uh, crash bars onto it and a belly pan on the bottom and that's pretty much all it's got um, aside from being stock. Hi my name is Neil, got the setup on the quad lock with the ram bolts, uh, just used a simple road book, it's a WR250, great way to see the lanes. Uh, my name's Michael, I'm from Project Moto ADV. Uh, this is my 690, I've uh, done loads to it. Crash bar, skid plate, got storage in there, got some tools down in there. Got my adventure foot racks and my Krieger panniers. Got the carbon tower. Um, and this is my roadbook setup. So I've got a RAM mount there, a Samsung Tab Active 2. I went for the cheapest tablet I could find, which was about £100. In fact, the holder was £100 as well. That's probably most expensive bit but it's, it's got charging in it, so that's why I went for that RAM mount, that particular one. So the whole setup for me was about 220 quid. I bought a cheap 17 pounds controller, so I can scroll through just with my left thumb and adjust my trip meter there as well, so that's nice and handy. My first off-road rally, I've done the Tri Cafe Challenge with Rally Moto uh, last week with my wife, and um, this is a bit daunting, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, for the off-road, basically I've just Put some trackers on it um, nice and knobbly they're a little bit sketchy on the road but um, off-road they're brilliant so yeah i'm really looking forward to it today a little bit of mud but yeah that's what it's all about Out 
on the course. We're waiting for the guys to come through. You may have noticed in the paddock we were sticking little blue boxes on everyone's bikes. Um, that's a tracking system. So we have here, we have on tablets with us out in the field. We have all the riders on the tracking system. So we're going to potentially run a little bit of a detour for some of the riders here if they're finding they're going a bit tough. But we know where the riders are. We can see if you're going on course. We can see if you're getting back on course. We can find you if you have a puncture, if you have a breakdown. We run a 4x4 pickup with the recovery trailer in the back and we run a van so we can come and pick you up off on course and get you back to the start point so you can sort of sort yourself out. So when you're riding, you're not on your own. Even though you're going around doing the course and you might not see anyone for two or three hours, you're not on your own. You've got a complete backup crew behind you. You've got a complete GPS tracking system following you so we know where we are know where you are. All right, he's turned left, so he's heading up towards Southampton. Hi, Jeff, can you hear me? I just hold position, because he is coming towards you. Do you know you go up the long lane and you've turned right at the top and you're down at the crossroads? He's back two junctions, but he's moving at 17 kilometers per hour, so. Uh, yeah, I think he's heading back to Paddock. Tony, do you want to go and pick that one up? Yeah, he's come up to a junction. If he goes straight on, he's staying on course. Yeah. We're at, a, at the point on the course where we're going to run a detour for some of the guys if they're not feeling comfortable with the off-road. The weather recently has been really, really bad and some of the tracks have churned up and they're a bit muddy and some of the big bikes, they might be finding it a little bit difficult. So giving them a choice, basically. If they feel happy, they can carry on. If they don't feel happy, we're going to shortcut some of the muddy bits um, and keep the pack together on, on the course. You've got the first bikes coming through. We're just going to slow them down and uh, these are the opening riders. So we're just going to have a chat with them, see how it's gone so far. All good? Yeah, we had a bit of a detour down the green lane and come to a boiler path and bought this M right. All right, okay, okay. Yeah. Everything all right? Yeah, spot on, yeah. Okay, great. Good? Right. Okay, right. see you later. Cheers. So that's the opening riders through. The course is clear, so they're happy. Okay, fella, you're all good? All good, yeah. All going fine? Yeah. Happy with the terrain? Yeah, really okay, nice. fine, you're on time. Yeah, just carry on following the course, fella. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Cheers. On an adventure rally or an adventure rally raid like today, um, it's a mixture of road, back roads, and a mixture of tracks. And this is kind of like a typical track here. Not overly difficult, you can quite easily navigate it on a big bike. Quite a lot of work involved behind the scenes. Apart from just deciding on a good route, we then have to research all the legality, check it out for any local closures, any particular problems. And obviously, like today, we've had to look for some detours so that if riders are struggling, we can send them round, we can send marshals to the right places, and we can provide assistance should anybody get into trouble. Yeah, there's a, a lot of work to do before we even get to sending guys out on the trails. I have done a digital detour because I thought, I checked it yesterday. It's all open. Cheers, fella, take care. We've uh, just had a phone call from our opening riders because we did a bit of a recce yesterday and there's some road closures and we made the amends on the digital road book but we didn't do the amends we checked the course yesterday and the roads only closed on weekdays so we left the paper road book as it is so the guys have got to the same point on the road book and some are on digital and some are on paper and they're now going different ways and they're very confused so they've just called in to say what's right and actually both ways are right so that's cool these are our closers coming through you're right fella all good the lost rider. No, yes, Tony's gone back and found him and he's way, way, way behind you. We'll give him up, we'll stay here and wait for him to come here and then we'll say, we'll take him up to fuel. Okay, we've just had one rider come through on a Tenere with um, kind of standard tyres on it and the, the mud's been a bit sort of uh, complicated. 
So they've taken the option of the detour, so they're going to miss this next section, which is muddy, a little bit more muddy, got a few little ruts in it. So yeah, that's a good result. Everyone else has gone on the full course. Everyone else is happy. We're waiting now for one guy who's quite a long way behind, and we're going to shortcut him to coffee as well. We're going. Well, we're going to go and find a rider who seems to be a little bit lost. So we're taking the flag in, and we're going to clear this post. All the riders have gone through. The closing riders have gone through. So I think it's... Uh, Go and find somebody and help them and maybe shortcut them so they can catch the rest of the bunch up so they actually get home by sort of six o'clock tonight. We're at this junction here, 7495. Just go slow, go steady and go right, I know I'm right, I know I'm right, right. Do the next 10 kilometers like that and you'll be you'll start to get into it. Yeah, okay. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, cheers, thank you. No worries. Back at base, we've been out on the trails running a uh, sort of checkpoint or a detour point for some guys. Only a couple of guys took it. The, the trails have been pretty good today. The guys are now on the southern part of the course and the next thing is they're going to come in. We've had to go out and help a couple of riders who are really, really, really new to uh, road booking. We've got a couple of our, our ambassador riders sort of riding with them and showing them the ropes and, and they're out on course now. So that's really good. They started they started to get it, they get the hang of it, they're on their way now and they'll be back in a bit later on. So, just finished my first rally raid. It was great fun. Some really good off-road second sections. A bit of mixed stuff. Um, I did make a couple of mistakes and went around in a couple of little circles. Yeah, all in all, a good day. A few puddles, went through a nice Ford. I was really excited about that. I've never done that on this bike yet. Um, yeah, and, and the route's really good. That you might travel for 5K and then you look at your trip meter and it's absolutely bob on. So yeah, it, it, the, the app's brilliant. I really like it. So yeah, looking forward to the next one. Can't wait. Absolutely bloody brilliant. What was? The switch. Moving on that without getting your fingers wet or anything. Using this switch, it is absolutely superb. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the way it go. Didn't play up, we've had rain, bit of grease around the connector, which I was told to do, and it's worked really well. Can't say anymore. This smile's stuck, but it's just bloody Nora. It's so good, so good when you can turn the flipping thing, move it on. We had a couple of balls up, but to be honest, that's him, isn't it, doing the roots. But I mean, a little bloody poxy turn down a dirt track. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so you enjoyed that little bit of navigation then. It's good practice. Okay, so that's a, an adventure rally raid in the Cotswolds today. If you want to get involved, if you've liked what you've seen, come and join the club, come and be a member, come and get involved in our events, big and small. Go to the website at rallymoto.co.uk, subscribe to the newsletter and get involved, guys.